Okay, so in the next three movies I will take you through um, 3D printing step by step. All the way from getting a 3D model to the final product, like for example this little golden fat cat. So um, to get a 3D model is always the first step when you want to print something, because this is the virtual version of your final object. And to get a 3D model you have basically two options. The first option would be to go on the internet and go on a page that is called um, Thingiverse. Um, there's more other pages, but this is one is uh, one where people from all over the world can upload their self-made 3D models. And everybody can download and print and use them and change them as they please for free. So, um, for example, if we want to print a little cat here, we would uh, go on the page, we type in cat and take a look. And as is spe expected, there is a lot of models for cats. And it's not only cats, but it's cat bells, it's uh, napkin, um, uh, food trays, uh, toys, everything you could wish for for your cat. But uh, yeah, once, once you found what you want, you click on it. I chose this little fat one. And uh, then you download this. And you don't need to do much more because then you have the, f the file ready, basically ready for putting into the program for the printer. So you don't need to worry about anything else. Uh, the second option would be to make a model yourself. And um, there's 3D modeling programs which come in all different kinds of complexity. And uh, making a 3D model, for example, one like this cat, can be very, very complex and you will need um, a professional program. But there's also the program called Tinkercut. Tinkercut is an online program. So uh, like in any other social network, you get a, um, an account. And then you can use the program online. So, for example, you create a new design here. And um, then it's actually as simple as building with building blocks as a kid. So you have all these very, very simple geometric shapes, which you can take and drag. And you can change the size. You can move it around on the plane. You can take other shapes. And then what everything you do is basically just add two shapes together or more, as many, many as you want to, or you can also subtract them from each other. So for example, if the cylinder is now a hole, and then you combine them with group, then you will have an object which consists of both, but one is a negative shape and the other is a positive shape. There's actually a really, really good tutorial, so when you get started with Tinkercut, you should um, do the tutorial first and it will teach you everything. When you're done, you can just download for 3D printing whatever you made here and it will have the same uh, effect as with the cat on Tinkercut, uh, on Thingiverse. So you press the STL and you have it downloaded pretty much.